Up-to-date network documentation of your automation network is very important for effective servicing and maintenance in your network operation. Using a small example with the Siemens Cinema Server Network Monitoring software, I will demonstrate to you how extremely easy it is to document the network even without any prior knowledge about it. In the first step, I will show you how Cinema Server can automatically detect devices, their hardware details as well as the topology of the network. In a second step, I will demonstrate how Cinema Server visualizes this information in a simple manner. And finally, I will demonstrate the report functionality that you can use to easily print or export all this information. In order to connect up to the Cinema server, you need to log on as an administrator with a web browser and the IP address of the Cinema server. Once you're logged on as administrator, you simply change to the scan page, where you inform Cinema server about the IP addresses you want Cinema server to monitor and diagnose. In this example, I have a very small network from the start address 172.16.60.9 to the address 172.16.60.20. In other words, a total of 12 network users. I will save this, and all I need to do after that is to define how Cinema Server can recognize Profinet devices and via which network cards. I do that here by defining which network card is to use the DCP protocol. I then start the scan and Cinema Server automatically detects which devices are in the network without further information being required from me. It shows me which IP addresses are in the network, but it also displays the Profinet device names for me. This is a very, very important detail if you have a fixed nomenclature in your system as far as Profinet names are concerned. It shows me the device types, MAC addresses, but also the firmware versions, which are very important for maintenance purposes. As you can see on the left-hand side, Cinema Server automatically sorts the devices into groups. This means, in this case, that there are three switches, one access point, and several end devices. If I now use the filter to show the switches, I can see that in this case, I have three switches in the network. When I select a switch, I go into the device details and can call up all details that Cinema has automatically detected. For example, how many ports this switch has and which ports are in the up status. In other words, which ports are connected. In Cinema Server, in addition to an information display in list form, a topology display is also available. This allows you to quickly and easily see how the various devices in the network are connected to each other. In an extremely large network, it is advantageous if you have the possibility to navigate within the network with a bird's eye view, as shown here. By using the mouse over function, you can see further details about the hardware itself as well as about the connected ports. You can also recognize whether there are active or redundant lines, shown here in blue, or whether there are wireless connections made via wireless LAN. Now, to finish off, I will demonstrate the report function. To do this, I switch to the inventory report, which very quickly and simply lists which devices are being monitored at this particular instant. I can print out this report via the print function. I can also add further details to this report or I can also export it as a Microsoft Excel file. As you have seen, Cinema Server is very, very easy to use and provides you with a simple means of documenting your network. This documentation provides the basis for effective maintenance and servicing of your current network operation.